How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another Hey, What You Looking For? I'm always out in the field. I'm always detecting or I'm working on other projects. And, you know, you're always looking for something. That's the biggest asked question I've ever had during metal detecting. What you looking for? They'll come up and ask you. From years ago till now, they still are asking, what are you looking for? Well, as a detectorist, treasure hunter, I'm always looking for things to make our uh, life a little easier. And uh, DetectingAdventure.com has come out with what they call the Ugly Box. This is an electrolysis and sonic unit in one package. Now, I used it yesterday. I started on a couple of coins that really aren't of any great value that were so heavily, so heavily covered in vertigris and crud and corrosion. This is a two peso Mexican. This was just a, like a cookie. You can see the thick layers. I did it for a while. And I switched over and I started doing another coin just to learn what was going on with it. The instructions that are included with the ugly box are real simple. This is cutting it close and making it easy. Now this isn't a big unit, but they do have a 12 volt system coming that hooks into it that you can start using it on larger iron items if you so desire but right now I'm cleaning copper coins you can clean silver great on jewelry things like that it's not recommended it's not recommended to use it on nickel because nickel discolors badly and I'll show you I grabbed just a crudded up Lincoln scent, a weedy. It's kind of fun because I just dug it and it was with other coins. And if you can see that, there was a coin laying across it. You'll see a real, real highly shiny area. And Abe come up pretty good too. And it didn't take a long period of time. You'll see a little bird. I left that on there. That entire face was covered in that green green heavy layer simple unit runs on one nine volt which plugs here a four pack double A's plugs here on off switch the jumper for the 12 volt that's very important you put a one of your clip sets to jumper it so it has continuity for it to run. Everything you need's in it. Brine solution. It says a teaspoon per cup. Now I'm using about three quarters cup of water in a plastic Tupperware style made by Glad of water. Simple to do, easy to operate. And it comes with two sonic units, and we'll demonstrate those briefly here in a second. We'll get it hooked up. It's quick, easy to do. Plug your battery pack in. Your 9 volt. Things fall on the floor. There you go. Hook your jumper. Doesn't matter which particular one you use. Just jumper across the two leads on the left hand side of the box as you face it. Clip them on. And we can run a Sonic 
without running any electrolysis at this point by plugging in the unit called Thunder. Now I've got a couple coins that I want to work with and I have a two cent piece here in 1864 which I believe to be the small motto but I can't read it. I want to make sure that uh, it's in field condition. Now it's all right if you go down and touch the coin. Basically what I'm doing is loosening up just common dirt that's on there and giving it a bit of a sonic bath which I have a larger sonic bath outside that I use quite often. I've always tried to use the least invasive forms of cleaning but you're going to get these that just are so crudded and thick you have to use a step up or a couple steps up. Freeze and thaw. Elmer's glue. Peel it off. Sonic bath. Now there's those that say, oh don't use water. Well I hate to tell you this, straight water is the most common solvent in the world and um, it does help. Some say just throw it in olive oil. Let it soak. That works too. But if you don't get it cleaned off, verdigris will return. And I have examples of that. And I don't know if you can see in there, it's loosened up some dirt. Before I go into the next step of adding the brine, mixing it up, and then let it do its thing, I'm going to work on this two set piece. This is just straight water at this point. And some dirt's come away from it. before and after type units. Now I used this yesterday, it works very good. This is not designed to go down in the water, but the coin when you're using it has to be damp or wet. Now that's triple out or four out steel war wool underneath of there there's extra steel wool. You can go to any hardware store and get it. Now the brine solution that's included, the stuff drops off. Let's see if I loosen up more material that all I'm doing is, oh yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff dropping off. Just getting it prepared to go into electrolysis. Get a lot of the heavy crud off, give it a dip here. Now, bang for the buck. Let's talk about that. S&W, myself, are carrying these at $69.95 and I am very impressed with all that you get with this. The carbon catalyst rod, brine, the tools that you need to work with. Batteries are not included. Use a quality battery. So far it ran all day yesterday. I was, I was testing and messing with it. So now I'm going to hook it up. Recommends a tea, teaspoon or so of brine to a cup of water. I got three quarters of a cup of water in there. So that's about what I'm going to put in. About three quarters of a teaspoon of the brine solution. Now this is supplied to us through detectingadventure.com You can look them up online. I have these in inventory now. In fact, 
One of my friends already got one. He's going to be trying it. Now this was developed by a gentleman out in the East Coast working with in conjunction with the university this is some of the ideas they came up with now I can't say the university but Frank worked with the university there one lead to your cat or catalyst rod which is carbon which you'll be able to get extras of and you can use other catalyst rods get it set right the wires are fresh and let's get this in correctly as best as we can we want the catalyst to get going one to your coin totally submerged both of them okay so you need need to do that and right now it's showing seven and a half volts on the battery turn it on Oop. catalyst coin all right we're gonna switch something here <laughs> got it reversed and it has easy instructions and I read them uh, you know guys read your instructions there we go don't want them touching but you want and powers on So, power on off button for electrolysis. We have it on, it's feeding, and we'll check back in in an hour and a half. And you already see a few bubbles coming up in around the clip, so it appears that we've got action there. And we'll see how it does on this 1864 two cent piece. We'll get back to you. starting to show a little bit. some of the detail and I'll put it back in after a little inspection time so many of our coppers bronzes they get uh, attacked by chemicals on the field and this was out of a field earlier this year out in Pennsylvania see by the color it's removed a lot of stuff on the so wipe it down here lightly a lot of dirt a lot of dirt I'm starting to see more detail may even be to the point I can read it a little bit but I'm going to give it another two hours worth and we'll continue to do this, but I wanted to get across to you the ugly box from 
Detecting Adventures, Adventure, I should say, company. We've got them in stock. They're for sale. This coin yesterday, I, I worked on it a little bit. And you can even see where the other coin sat against it. Just to see what it would do. That was one of my test pieces. This was so heavy. And it's still heavy in places. I'm going to run a little more to get the date off. An old 2 peso has the M mint mark on it. Mexico City. So we're working at it. See if I can get a clear date on it. I picked a couple coins that weren't terribly valuable. And moving toward this one. So hey, everybody have a good day. Don't forget to reach up and like us on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, excuse me. S&W Shooters and Prospectors. We've got these in stock. We can ship them. Give us a holler. Everybody have a good day. And what is it you're looking for out there? Hope you all find it. But this is something that helps you clean up those finds you're looking for. Have a good day.